Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, checking out some local craft beer from Why Not Brewing. Why Not Brewing is a small nano brewery here in Aalborg, Denmark, that is closely tied to Basement Beer Bar because the owner Nikolai, who has Basement Beer Bar, also runs this little side project called Why Not Brewing, where he does nano-sized batches, but he's also done a couple of bigger scale batches out at Betsy Brewing, which is where I work at the moment. So, earlier this year, Nikolai released his first ever Black Pack, a new concept that he launched that he will be doing once a year, where he released a, a four pack of rich, big, decadent stouts, or four big, like just like really nice stouts. And this year, he only released 35 packs, so it's a very, very, very small release. It's also been released on tap, at least some of the beers. There's two of the beers that are only for the back, but uh, the Black Pack, but Otherwise, the beers have been on tap at the bar. So if you've been to Arbor, you have been able to try them. Otherwise, you'd have to get this bike pack. But he was kind enough to ask me if I wanted a pack uh, back in the spring, which he was, I was, you know, I, I went down there, I got it, everything was locked down. Uh, so, you know, it was, you know, just cycling down there, knocking on the door, getting the pack and going back home with it. Uh, but it's not until now that I crack the beers in the pack, which is way overdue way overdue. We're in September now. And actually, like the expiration date on the can, it's, it's they are past them. And I think it just keeps the expiration dates really short on these, even though they're big imperial stout, just because they're so small batches and they're with adjuncts and whatnot. So, you know, sorry, Nikolai, it's been a long time, but we're finally trying the beers. So we're starting off with this one. Well, actually, we started off with another one, but we, we are actually reviewing this one, which is Coffee Bounty Paradise, an 11% imperial stout with coffee, coconut, and coconut cream. So yeah, bounty-inspired imperial stout, but the idea with this one is also to have some roasted malt and, and like charry umami profile, so it's not, it's not gonna be all sweet pastry, which is awesome, I love that. And Nikolai's really doing some fantastic stouts. He's mainly, what he's mainly been playing around with is in his nano brewery is stouts and, and hazy IPAs. And they, they, he's done both really well. I've reviewed a handful of them. And I think the first stout I really reviewed on the channel was Northern Barrel, which was amazing. So this will be really fun to, to try as well. The first beer I had was Peruvian Breakfast. And that was like a breakfast stout, a coffee stout. And unfortunately, my can was infected. Uh, which is a shame. I didn't shoot a full review. I cracked it and it just gushed everywhere and it was a very foamy big head. And I was a bit like, ooh, what's going on here? And I had a sip and it was sour, like really sour actually. So it, it had a, a humongous, amazing coffee character, but it was sour. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna review that. It's actually already in the sink, but that's, you know, that's what happens sometimes, even for the best of us, you know, and the, and the best brewers. When you work around with, with ingredients like this, stuff like that sometimes happens, uh, especially, you know, big loads of coffee and things like that, additions like that, things can happen. But that's the only time I've ever had an experience like that with any of his beers. And it's, I don't know, I don't want to want to say it's on me because I've sat on the beers for so long, but you know, it can't happen. But this one, Pouring and everything seemed right. So we're checking it out and doing a full review on Coffee Bounty Paradise. As I said, coffee, cacao nib, coconut cream, imperial stout, 11%. I'm looking forward to this. So pour is a very nice pitch black color in the glass with a nice fluffy looking mocha colored head. It looks like this one is gonna be straight imperial stout and no infections. So let's check out the aroma. And it smells like straight imperial without no infections. If you, well, not straight, because it's really coconutty. Yeah, it's got a lot of milky coconut to me. Loads of milky coconut. Underneath that, there's like a really nice coffee character. It's like really, yeah, it's like really nutty coffee to me, but also like chocolatey. But I think that's also because of the coconibs. It's almost got hints of vanilla and like marshmallow too for me, for some reason. Like like there's a sweet vanilla-y marshmallow come component to it. But underneath all these things, there's like a huge roasty malt profile. Not something that's like acrid or anything, but like a really nice roasty, charry malt character, like dark chocolate, almost like hints of dark fruit to it. Just like light whiffs of dark fruit. 
like almost like espresso covered raisin or espresso covered espresso covered espresso covered chocolate covered espresso beans there we go or something like that and a bit of raisin that smells really good let's go to taste guys cheers and thanks a ton to nikolai who gave me this black pack cheers dude Mm. Mm hmm so i didn't even shoot the first video because as soon as i saw it popped it the can i was like yeah something's off here and i tried to just had a sip of the foam I was like yeah i could taste it there already and i knew that's not how nikolai's stouts are because he does some awesome stouts this reminds me of nikolai's stouts it's like really really big I don't think it's as sweet as a lot of his other stouts I've had, which is nice. It's actually really well balanced. There's there's definitely some sweetness, but there's a like what I miss in a lot of like pastry style beers. It's like a really nice roast profile. It's got a really nice cherry roasty malt, but it's also not too much. And I think to some extent that's also because he sits on the beers or let them like lager a little bit in tanks at first before he releases them. Because up for, like when these stouts are like really fresh, they're often so bitter and charry, it's almost too much. This is really good. I don't know what I could compare it to though, in terms of, because uh, it's like, it's more old school than a lot of modern interpretations of like, uh, like coconut bounty stouts. I, I, I actually think like the base on the coffee really shines. It's almost like licorice too. Huge, like, like thick and creamy. It's not like sludgy, but it's really creamy and rich. The mouthfeel, really big roast profile, really roasty coffee. Again, it's like espresso coffee for me because of the heavy roasty kind of flavor of the base. So that's like it's like really this really nice dark roast, this espresso, and like the coconut there because it's also like these really dark flavors. Like it's like dark chocolate. So like dark chocolate, chocolate covered uh, espresso beans. The hint of dark fruit, there's a little bit. I mean, it's light nuances. It's not a lot at all. It's, it's you know, it's not like it's like, like really raisiny figgy or something like that, like crazy. There's just like a soft tone of it. And then there's a big like coconut thing. And I think it's a quite milky coconutty. But this is a really nice, rich and decadent imperial stout. And I love that it has some old school flair. Again, it almost has like a that like burnt roasty profile and almost like a slightly licorice vibe. It's really good. I, I think I would lean to say that he makes it's super small scale. Like there's 35 cans of this, <laughs> but he makes some of the better stouts in the country. I think there's, there's a few breweries now doing really good stouts. Fanu being one of them and Flex Helm Borkus is also starting to dive into it. I actually have some barrel aged stouts from them to try in terms of Danish stouts. And uh, and then Nikolai has really been doing it a lot. There's of course like Mikler has done a lot and Tool and whatnot. But of some of the newer breweries, not a lot has focused on uh, stouts. A couple have. I know uh, um, a Slow Burn did a barrel aged one, but I've seen very mixed opinions on it. But I think so far Nikolai stouts have been really good, and this one is really nice. It's like for me like a 92, 93. It's a really nice coconut stout with a big bold like espresso coffee character, which is really nice. And then like dark chocolate is what I get from the coconuts. Also because it's probably because of the roasty malt profile. And then too bad about Peruvian breakfast. I mean, that was probably really good when it was fresh. All my friends who tried it on tap and whatnot said it was amazing. So uh, that's how it is sometimes, but I'm sure he's gonna make it again because it was a success. So hopefully I'll get to try fresh where it's all right, but this is really good. So. Yeah, very nice imperial stout with coffee, coconut, and coconut. Mm. So if you guys were lucky enough to be local and get a black pack and try a coffee bounty paradise from Why Not Brewing, let me know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram for this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos, and I'm going to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.